What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Apologies, I am still pretty, pretty sick, which is why I sound stuffy. And man, it's kind of crazy to think that this is most likely the last q and I'll be doing before Tekken 7 comes out. I mean, I'll still do q and As. I'm just saying that this is the last one I'll be doing before Tekken 7 comes out. But enough rambling, let's get on to the questions. It was pretty light this time, so hopefully we get more and more questions this time. Or next time, what, whatever, whatever the time is, but question time, let's go. The real SK47 asks, have I ever played Bendy and the Ink Machine, and do I want Teen Titans Go creators to die? Um, as for Bendy and the Ink Machine, no, I have not played it. Um, I don't think I've even heard of it, aside from Cartoon Fight Club or whatever. I've seen, like, thumbnails with him in it and titles or whatever, but I have no clue what it is. It's probably, is it like Undertale, just one of those popular games that kids play or something? that they think is edgy. I don't know. Anyways, for the second question, do I want the Teen Titans Go creators to die? Um, no, absolutely not. That's, that's awful. Why would you wish death upon someone? Grimi Locura asks, when will I do Squid Girl vs. Inkling? Because I've hinted at it, and this person's been waiting a long time for it to come. Um, it will come. Yes, I'm actually confirming it will come. Uh, whenever I can get around to watching S Squid Girl or whatever anime she's from, because I've never watched it, never seen anything from it. It's just been a super popular request for my channel, like Aaron vs. Wander was, and that other matchup that shall not be named unless someone asks about it. Uh, question number two. If I am sent video games or anime or anything, will I be more likely to uh, use characters from it if I'm actually sent this stuff? Um, I mean... <clears throat> it wouldn't make you more likely, but it would probably become more likely. Like, I wouldn't choose it on purpose just because you sent it, but I'd be more likely to choose it because you'd sent it and I had seen it. Because it wouldn't be very likely for me to choose something I haven't seen, but if you send it and I see it, then I'll have a higher chance of see of using them, but I wouldn't use them just because you sent it. I, I probably made this very confusing. Let's move on to question number three. Will I ever have guest hosts? Uh, I think I've mentioned that before. Have I? Where I thought about bringing on guests, but I don't know who I'd bring on. Uh, but yeah, it'd be cool, but it'd probably be a very rare occurrence. So yeah, those are my answer to those questions. Penguin of Frozen War asks, What do I like better, anime or western cartoons, or which do I think is better? Um, I have to- I don't really- think either one is better because they both have their goods and bads, but I have been, I do like Western cartoons a lot more, mainly because I've been exposed to them more, and there's a lot more interesting web or Western cartoons in my opinion. Because, I mean, there are tons of anime that I like, Attack on Titan, Hajime no Ippo, Sergeant Frog, but lots of animes are just slice of life, schoolgirls standing around doing nothing and talking to each other for minutes on end, where nothing happens and it's just boring school life. Woo! Ugh. Like Lucky Star, for example. That is such an overrated anime. I hear so many good things about this anime. I checked it out. They just stand around talking for like seven minutes about how to eat this particular type of food or what the difference between a cold and the flu is. It's so dumb. I hate Lucky Star. It's terrible. Um, but anyways, yeah, I like, I like Western cartoons more. Um, question number two. What, in my opinion, makes someone a good person? Sorry if I make a lot of gross swallowing or sniffling noises. Like I said earlier, I'm still sick. But anyways, what makes someone a good person, in my opinion, is their behavior. Um, because I, I know a lot of people were expecting me to say beliefs or viewpoint or whatever. But although I am a Christian, I am a proud Christian, there are lots of other Christians that don't set a very good example. There's no such thing as a perfect Christian, trust me. Um, like there's ones that hold signs that say, God hates you, you're going to hell, God doesn't hate- God doesn't hate anyone, come on guys. So yeah, it really doesn't matter what your beliefs are that make you a good person, it's your behavior. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much it, just be nice, treat others the way you want to be treated, that's the gold rule I've talked about in the Q&As before. Just don't be mean, man. And question number three, have I ever heard of this Night in the Woods game that's been blowing up on Steam? No, next questions! A gaming potato asks, What's a video game that I think is so bad that it's good? Um, definitely probably the Kingdom Hearts series, because the plot is dumb, the characters are bland, the voice acting is subpar aside from the Disney characters, and the combat system is kind of ugh. Like, you just lock on and then spam the attack button and that's it, there's no strategy to it. 
And, oh wow, I'm just going on a rant, aren't I? Um, but it, they're still fun to play for some reason. Like, the music is good. Um, the sound effects when you hit the Heartless are satisfying and entertaining. It looks pretty. It's a pretty looking game. Um, and it's a cool idea, Final Fantasy Cross Disney. The execution just isn't very good. It's very corny, it's very cheesy, and it's just a, it's just bad, but it's hilarious. It's hilariously good, but bad. It's hard to explain. Kingdom Hearts. Question number two. <coughs> Sorry. What's my favorite Crash Bandicoot game? Um, definitely, uh, Twin Sanity. Yeah, not the original trilogy. Surprise, surprise. Um, I just like Twin Sanity because despite it being a rushed, glitchy mess, it still controls very well. It's a very funny game. It has lots of atmosphere to it, and I like the humor in the game. It's very self-aware and hilarious, and it fits Crash perfectly. Um, it has one of the best Crash models to date, and I, it's probably my favorite Crash model, actually. Um, and it, this, I think this is the one that introduced Lex Lang as Cortex, who does a fantastic job. Question number three. Besides SpongeBob vs. Pinkie Pie, what do I think is the worst matchup? Um, definitely stuff where the characters aren't actually fighters. Like, I get requests for Dexter vs. Stewie a lot. They're just children who invent. They weren't made to be fighting characters, and they don't fight at all in their series. They just invent stuff and think away out of issues. So yeah, characters that don't even fight. That's what, that's probably the big one. It's dumb. Patrick Gowen asks for me to say his last name, and I just did. Question number two, Crash vs. Spyro, who do I think is better and who do I think will win? Um, I like Crash more, I think he's better, but Spyro definitely wins this. Spyro's like planet level, trust me, he, he, can pull, he can pull an entire planet back together after it's been broken to pieces with his magic. Um, question number three, TMNT vs. Power Rangers, who do I like more and who do I think would win in a fight? Um, I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles more. Like, Transformers vs. Power Rangers, I'm a Power Rangers guy, but Power Rangers vs. Ninja Turtles, I'm a Ninja Turtles guy. Um, I like Ninja Turtles a lot better, but of course, the Power Rangers definitely win this one. Hands down, no contest. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Johnny Mays asks, will I ever have returning characters to universes? Of course characters can return, just like fictional fights, um, characters can come back. But, on universes, they can come back whether they win or lose. In fictional fights, it was only if they win. But here, they can come back if they win or lose. It all depends on who wants some or if I come up with any ideas. Uh, question number two. Will I ever redo any fictional fights episodes in universes that were wrong in fictional fights? Like Steven vs. Dipper or Saitama vs. Goku. Um, no, probably not because universes has this whole predictions segment. And it wouldn't make much sense if everyone knew who was going to win anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> and question number three... Will universes be seasonal based? Um, no. I just make episodes whenever I feel like it. I don't take any seasonal breaks or anything in between seasons, because there are no seasons. It's just one big show, and I do it whenever I feel like it, and I take breaks whenever I feel like it. There's no seasons, no seasonal breaks, just one big thing. Next question. Victor Conceles asks, what are my thoughts on Mario Odyssey? It actually looks really good in my opinion. The next big 3D Mario game. I was waiting for one to come on the Wii U, but Nintendo betrayed me and deserted the console. I mean, people were hating the Wii U, but I was all like, nah, nah, they got Smash and Mario Kart, and a new Zelda game's coming in three years. The Wii U will be fine. So I got it, I got all those games, and they just ditched it and left for the Switch, and now they're making Mario Odyssey on the Switch. And no big 3D Mario game on the Wii U, they betrayed me, which is why I went back to PlayStation. Besides, PlayStation's got Tekken and Crash anyways. Um, question number two. What do I think of the Sonic Forces OC character creation? I actually think it's really good. Sonic is finally doing something new besides overhauling this gameplay for something that doesn't work. Um, it's th But the gameplay we do have is pretty much Generations 2. It pretty much is. You can't say it isn't just with the third extra character thrown in there. And that third extra character is an original character. And the customization does look pretty deep. It looks like you can choose different heights for your character, different uh, animal types, colors, uh, accessories. It looks really it looks really detailed for character creation. So I'm excited to see where they go with it. Um, it's something new for the Sonic series, so it's nice that they're innovating a little. And uh, those are my thoughts. Next question. Cyborg Production asks, what are my thoughts on Injustice 2? 
Uh, it's just Mortal Kombat without violence and a superhero skin. That's pretty much it. I'm not the hugest fan of, like, 2D fighters side-scrolling and all that, because they all sort of feel the same. Meanwhile, with 3D fighters, stuff like Tekken, Soul Calibur, and Naruto Ninja Storm games, they all feel very different 3D fighters. But with something like Street Fighter, and then SNK, and uh, Mortal Kombat, and it just, it all feels the same. Very, very too similar for my taste, so it just kind of doesn't look appealing to me in Justice 2. Um, question number two, who is my favorite SML character? For those who don't know, that Super Mario Logan, he does plushie videos. Yes, I'm a 20-year-old who watches another 20-something-year-old play with plushies, but they're very entertaining. I have another video on that. Uh, but my favorite character is probably Woody, but they don't do anything with him anymore, so now I'm disappointed. Um, <coughs> Question number three. Who's my favorite villain from Marvel or DC? Um, Joker definitely from DC and from Marvel... Ah, uh, I don't really think I have a favorite Marvel villain. They all just kind of come and go. The superheroes in Marvel stand out better for me. And the super villains in DC stand out better for me. So Joker is my favorite villain probably out of all superheroes. I know it's super generic, but the Joker's cool. You can't deny that. The glitchy pixel asks, will very special episodes of universes have animation in them? Um, no, because I really want universes to stand out on its own and be unique and be able to handle itself without needing an animation for views. And there's also the fact that if I put animation in one episode, then everyone's going to expect an animation in every episode, and they're going to be disappointed if there isn't, and then they're going to start leaving. So it's sort of that kind of rule going on. So I'd like to keep it no animation just for consistency, and so it doesn't become an expectation for it to have animation. And question number two. Have I ever been scammed? Yes, it's called Street Fighter V. Um, I bought it for like $15 on eBay, and I still felt ripped off because of how little content there is in the game. They still don't have arcade mode. There's so little characters, like Tekken 7's first roster reveal back in 2014, before any sort of updates, it still had more characters than Street Fighter V does to this very date. Oh man, it's so bad. There's so little to do in Street Fighter V, plus the loading times are awful. Okay, man, Carberry asks. Oh, here he is again. Uh, Nickelodeon versus Cartoon Network. Which one do I think is better? Um, uh, per much of my personal favorites actually come from Cartoon Network, so I'll say that. I mean, I grew up with Nickelodeon a lot, like SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, all very good shows. And but they've all come and gone. Meanwhile, Cartoon Network has kept like bringing on new stuff that's kept my interest. Like uh, Chowder was really good. Then regular show, uh, they have OKKO OK coming up next, and <clears throat> hopefully Villainous becomes a series because that's really good. Uh, oh, there's that gross sniffle. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, there's a lot of good stuff that's been consistent on Cartoon Network, even though they've had tons of bad stuff recently, like Teen Titans Go and all that. Meanwhile, Nickelodeon has been in a drought for a while. I mean, Loud House is an exception. But it's mostly just, bleh, there's nothing really that stands out on Nick right now. Meanwhile, Cartoon Network has always had at least one thing that stood out. Question number two, favorite movie of 2016 and why? Kung Fu Panda 3, of course, because it's Kung Fu Panda. I all, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Kung Fu Panda franchise. I don't know, any new release is just going to automatically be a favorite. Ugh, that was some major stuttering. That was like Obama stuttering. Uh, Kung Fu Panda's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> Obama stuttering. Um, and question number three. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Uh, seven. Seven wood. He could chuck seven wood. That's it. Seven wood. The end. Last question. See you. Bye-bye. See you next time. Hopefully I won't be sick next time. Goodbye.